Hello! So, just did the uh, full moon reading on TikTok for Taurus, and so we'll go a little bit more in depth here now on the YouTube page. Um, so we have here a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. So this was the first card pulled, so this means that there's something upcoming, hopefully this week, I think it's, it's a good timeline. Um, something's coming to an end here, okay? That's where we're, we're uh, there's going to be information come to light that's going to be the means to an end or a light at the end of the tunnel. And it's saying here, don't let pride get in your way. So you might be embarrassed. You might be dealing with some things um, where you feel like you got this, you know, um, or even uh, a dealing with <laughs> maybe not wanting to admit uh, the full uh, spectrum of the situation that the win-win outcome is forecast for. But, you know, don't let pride get in your way. Um, it's it's a full moon in Leo, which means it's super powerful. It's going to be in the spotlight. It's going to illuminate a lot of things. And then it says, what do you need to release? Wanting moon. That goes perfectly with this. Okay? So this is saying, don't stand in your own way of letting it go. See this beautiful night? That's like, if you can't, well, you probably can't see outside, but outside looks exactly like this right now. Okay, where I'm from in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So what do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? Write it down on a piece of paper. When the full moon comes, light it on fire and give it to spirit. I'm serious. You may not think, but it's true. So let it go, you know, because um, it's holding you back. Yeah. Hmm. Two of pentacles. Okay, so we've got the Two of Pentacles. You've got some decisions to be making. Okay, some massive decisions. Look, that's stuck right out there. Mm, the Emperor. So you're building your kingdom right now. Okay, and you've got some decisions to make. You've got some closure to be had. You've got some things to let go of so that you can heal on the inside. So you can get here. Emperor is all about building, you know, your... your uh, kingdom i guess would be for a king but your emperor would be for your empire you know it's this is money this is what's uh you know abundance <laughs> look i can't even get that it's holding right over what do we got nine of cups oh yes bye okay so nine of cups see she's sitting there at that well that little elf making a wish okay making a wish it's gonna take some hard work too but I'm going to read from the book on the Nine of Cups, just because I like to read from the book for, you know, the last one, because that's going to tell you kind of where you're going, right? Happiness and the joy of simplicity fill you. Wealth, material, comfort, success, security, physical well-being. All obstacles are removed. Advice to be generous and open with newfound fortune. Wishes are granted. You find happiness in what you sought. Your truest wish, truest, truest wish is manifest. You know, that's, that's why they're at the wishing well, right? That's why you've got your your emperor, your kingdom is coming. The two pentacles, just make the decision. Jump in the water with both feet, okay? Right? She's testing the waters, one foot in, one foot out. You got to jump in, make a decision, and release the garbage, okay? That's up here, so you can heal here. All right, so let's see if we can get a planet on the go here. These are the Romax Studios Esoteric Astrology Cards. And I've been reading them for each of the full moons. So what does Taurus need to know? Mm. Empathy and sympathy mean two different things. Learn the first and save the second for only drastic measures. Okay, so our nifty difty little legend here tells us that this middle sign is immutable. Okay, and then we've got the constellation up at the top. 
that tells us that that constellation up at the top is, where are we here? Oh yes, it's Virgo. All right, so if that constellation up at the top tells you you're in Virgo, which is a mutable sign, which means, again, don't let pride get in your way. I don't know if you have Virgo rising or ascending, but uh, you're standing in your own way with your ego, okay? It says empathy and sympathy mean two different things. Learn the first, which is sympathy, or empathy, sorry. Learn the first, which is empathy. <clears throat> Excuse me, and save the second, which is sympathy for only drastic measures, okay? This is... Uh, it's not going to help you. You're going to stand in your own way. You want to achieve this, this wish that you wish to be granted, right? And what's your message from chakras? Where maybe do you have a blockage? Do you have something that may, maybe you need to work on during this full moon and release for this full moon specifically to heal? Financial stability is coming to you. So with our legend for the elements, enlightenment with the elements, we've got that this here is the earth element and it is your root chakra so you got some money coming to you honey okay it's coming you gotta steadfast though don't let your pride get in the way you know accept advice when you need to ask for advice when you need to ask for help when you need to emperors don't get built by one person okay there's always help that's needed now what kind of animal do we need to that just jumped out at me oh a red squirrel Resourcefulness, vigilance, preparation, and busyness. Okay, so we got here 43 at the top. Another seven, guys. Another seven. Red squirrel. Okay. Gather your nuts. Get in there. Be resourceful. Start preparing. You know how. So do it. And follow through. Because that will get you your empire. All right. I love you all lots. And have a great day.